green ain't an option. Keep moving, keep getting strong. Until we go. Until we go, we get stronger, we get stronger. And no time for no weakness. So now I feel sorry for you in this shit. If you feel pain, you're feeling pain for yourself in this shit. If you feel a doubt, feeling doubt for yourself in this shit. If you feel worry, you're feeling worry for yourself in this shit. If you feel anxiety, you're feeling anxiety for yourself in this shit. Ain't no time for pain, ain't no time for worry, ain't no time for anxiety, ain't no time for sorrow. It's time for self confidence, it's time for righteousness. Self confidence is righteousness. Don't let people tell you self confidence ain't righteousness. Self confidence is what's gonna get you success. Success ain't materialistic things, B. That's what you need to fucking know. Success ain't materialistic things. It's not your money, it's not your cars. Success is turned to your. Your success is it's turned to God. That's what success is. Tend to a God in physical form. You're challenging your God into your physical form, B. Don't let someone tell you God's in the sky, B, because God ain't knowing no sky. Your God. Tell your success. Success is God, B. That's what you turn into. You turn into a God. Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that driving, nice cars, money, material. That shit's gonna come regardless. You gotta turn yourself to a God in this shit. Fuck with that. You know what I'm trying to say? Nothing really else matters, really. Nothing else matters. Apart from yourself. Nothing else matters. Because once you project yourself out there, that's when everything matters. But you matter first. You matter. If you don't matter, nothing else matters. But let's go. Let's go. Them days are over. The weakness days are over. 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 It's time to turn to a God. Which you are. You transform yourself into a God. You sculpt yourself. You sculpt yourself into a God. There's more to being a god. There's practicalities. There's rituals to be a god. The ritual is discipline. The ritual, the ritual, the ritual is self-righteousness. That's a ritual. Let righteousness lead the way. Let righteousness lead your way, be. Let righteousness lead your way. Self-confidence, B. Listen, 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 listen. Come close, come, come close, come close, come, come close. Listen, listen, listen. Don't let no one knock your self-confidence. Him. I don't think you heard me. I don't think you heard me. Let me. Let me, let me give one muscle up, because I don't think you heard me. I don't think you heard me, B. I don't think you fucking heard me, B. 
I said, don't let no one knock your self-confidence. And if your age 10 to 20 to 25, or even if you're smart enough and you're five years old, you hear me right now, do not let no one else knock your self-confidence. Be who you truly are. Whatever you think in your mind, you do it. Righteously, you do it, especially as a little child, because it's mainly children that people like to 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 transform. Because children, they learn very very quickly. They pick up things very very quickly. So they try and manipulate the children and knock down their self right, that's the self confidence. And I know because I've I've been through it. I felt it. I've been through it. I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? But that's where the power lays. The power lays in your self-confidence. Don't even let your mum, don't let your dad, don't let your uncle, your aunties knock your self-confidence in any way, shape or form. Because that's the only way you can succeed. You can read as many books as you want, but if you don't have even the self-confidence to understand these books, you will not reach the success or you will not even understand these books. You know what I'm trying to say? So self-confidence is the key. Mastery of self and discipline. Discipline and consistency. Do hard things. Fast. Retain for food for a certain amount of hours or even a certain amount of days. Cleanse your body. You know what I'm trying to say? Drink lots of water. Don't eat those processed food. Don't eat these junk foods. You know what I'm trying to say? Because this is what the world's doing. It says in the Bible, don't be like this world. And it also says in the Bible, but be transformed by the renewing in your mind. Because in the Bible it says that you need to be transformed. It talks about transformation a lot in the Bible. Especially not even just in the Bible, in a lot of these holy, holy scriptures, it talks about transformation. Because this world needs to be transformed. So you need to transform yourself by the renew of your mind. I speak about this with my other topics as well anyway but let me hit you on another muscle up sorry i don't think i don't think you got what i said but let me hit you on another muscle up just to let you know but i'm make sure i'm trying to make this one as clean as possible as clean as possible it's clean 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 muscle up Don't let no one knock your self-confidence. Don't let no one knock your self-confidence. Self-confidence is key. Self-confidence is righteousness, B. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. But you need to maneuver with different chakras. You need to, with your self-confidence, once you gain your self-confidence, you need to maneuver with your heart chakra. Because your heart signifies love. So you move with self-confidence with love. Because if you're just moving from self-confidence, you can move with your lower self. Because that's what Satan does. Satan is self-confident. He's confident that he can do evil things. But he moves with his lower self. But well, God moves with self-confidence, but he leads with his heart. Because heart is love. And heart is actually your brain. Your brain is connected to your heart. That's why you have these emotions. That's when you feel anger, your heart pumps really, really, really hard. When you feel sorrow, you, you fall down. This, this, these are all signals from your heart. And God, what's, what's love? God is love. That's why he gave you your heart, to keep you alive. Because God loves you. Hence why he keeps you alive. You know what I'm saying? And what, keep, what keeps you alive? The heart. The heart keeps you alive because the heart loves you. But we mistreat our heart. We mistreat our heart. We tend to mistreat our, our heart, but our heart still tends to keep beating because it loves us. And you made that connection, God made that connection. Why? Because God loves us. Where does God sit? God sits in us. So he sits in every single, in our every single organ, in our heart, our brain, everywhere. He sits everywhere, or she sits everywhere. 
Good cause not only a man, cause a woman as well. Masculine and the feminine. But what we got to understand is move through self confidence. Self confidence is key, but lead with your heart and lead with discipline. You will definitely make mistakes in this journey. In this journey, you definitely make mistakes. You might have bad thoughts sometimes. Bad thoughts can come through. But it's how you maneuver that bad thought. No, these thoughts are not yours. These thoughts are just coming in and going. It's like it's like a wave. Like it's, there's, there's things that there's things that are, that are unseen in this atmosphere that we don't know. That even the air, even the air we breathe, that's spirit. And like we can't even see it. We can't see it. And what's God? God's a spirit. So that means when we breathe in, we're breathing in God. Because God's a spirit. So that's what keeps us alive. Like I said. God is everything, you know, God is everything, but yeah man, that's what I wanted to say, I'm going to hit you with this one last muscle up, and then we can go about our day, I'm going to try and make this one as clean as possible, you know what I mean, but let me, let me, hit, let me give you a couple of chin-ups to keep you, end the video because we lead by self-confidence we really we lead by righteousness <laughs> ah, you see when you fell when you fell you gotta try again that's what I'm talking about my hands are dead my hands are dead but I'll keep on going because this is where it counts this is where it counts in your workouts when your arms are dead this is where exactly where it counts this is where you gotta push yourself this is where it counts when your arms are dead. That's where it counts. That's where it counts. 